Yeah. <laughs> I did it. A very good morning to you and welcome back to K24 this morning. I was just telling them how I started my Biashara with one feather. That is a poultry um, farm. Okay, that's a lie, guys. But welcome to the show. We are talking about rejuvenating your Biashara, whatever it is. It's really during COVID-19, a lot uh, of things happened. And uh, we just want to understand how did you do it? And here's our question of the day. What are some of the strategies that uh, have worked for your brand? What are some of the strategies that have worked for your brand? Right there, K24 TV across all networks and WhatsApp is right there on your screen. Speaking of which, I have had Derek's chocolate and my, oh my, talk of freshness, creativity and sweetness, commendable, great minds there. This is Gitegua, Kiambu County. Okay, Gitegua, uh, customer kondo yuapo. Yes. So before we went on a break, I asked you, what yes. is one of the craziest um, flavors you've had? Before I suggest my own. Um, there's one I had, dark mm -hmm. salt with sea salt. Jack what now? Da uh, sorry, dark chocolate uh -huh. with sea salt. Dark chocolate with yeah. sea salt. Yeah, so you, like, there's a blend of, of sweetness, then uh -huh. you crushed into some salt. It was kind of surprising. It was... Um, where did, where did you even get this sea salt? Uh, did you go to Costo? They are locally available. You just uh, I know I know you can find some from <laughs> from the supermarket. Yeah, from market, but yeah, yeah. But really? I, yeah, yeah, it was an interesting test. Mm -hmm. But few people like it because mm -hmm. um, the crash of salt. Kenyans like sweet things. Yes, you, you can't surprise them with something salty like that. Uh -huh. So um, that and maybe honey. I think that's the craziest and the dried sweet tomato. How is honey? Um, uh, you know, a crazy one, and yet honey is. It's honey, it's crazy. sweet. Yeah, it's crazy because it's already sweet. Mm -hmm. And now the milk chocolate is already sweet. Yes. So you oh, find so those combo. two combo is also very sweet. Okay. So you find your, I don't know, people really love those things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have like, um, uh, do you have like rum chocolate? Yes. Those ones we make on request. Because uh -huh. you see, not everyone will enjoy it. Mm. Uh, so we make them on request. Okay. But they go well with bonbons. Do you have um, like vodka chocolate? Whiskey, vodka, and um, brandy. Brandy, yes. Now, Shiku Kaitani is mm -hmm. a Chardonnay chick. Do you uh, have any wine? We can, we can talk after you, this. We can, we can talk, can, eh? Yeah, we All can right. talk after this. Jeff Morty, on the other hand, he has a bone soup. A bone soup, he has a bone soup. What is it? What is it? It's a bone soup. 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 Incorporate that chocolate. Jeff will be your you number one customer. You can do that. You can yeah? do that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, starting out with Beshara, mm -hmm. and because you, you said that your parents came through for you, yeah. even you know financially, mm -hmm. but support support wise from the larger family mm -hmm. and even your friends, mm -hmm. how was that? Um, you know, there are two kinds of mentorship in business. When you read, people say strangers are the best help, and then there are those guys who say that family are the business and vision killers, um, which is interesting for me because most of the help I got was from my family and friends. Mm -hmm. People were excited about sharing the platform, like, hey, you can check out this chocolate here, the referrals that came up from people who knew me. Those must be your sisters. I have no sister, unfortunately. Ah! But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I find friends supported really well. Mm -hmm. And then my background is human resources. Yes. So, I knew I need help in these areas. Mm. So, I would be keen to ask, I need your help with this and this. This is what I expect in these days. Help me. So I think my background helped me to know who I need to get the help from. Mm -hmm. And even from strangers, not mm -hmm. being, you know what they say, if you ask boldly, you mm -hmm. get it boldly as well. Mm -hmm. So being able to ask strangers to help me who were keen to sharing their perspectives to how the brand is. So that's for help, like help me with setting up Instagram. How can I do this? How do I set up a platform that is different? So I found that both sides helped. So family and friends are crucial in the setup of the business. Right. And then strangers come in very strongly because mm. they don't have any emotion with you to the business. Mm. And they give really clear perspectives. Nice. So it was really good. What about, what about you um, in regards to support from uh, family and friends? At least I know you've told me that you have partnered with your mom. What happened uh, when you were starting out? Where did most of your support come from? Uh, family, uh, friends. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, mentors. Yeah. Yes. And even the financial bit of it, I'm mean, to they just cheer you on. They're like, ah, Kaleche, good work. Yeah. We got you. Yeah. But if you can't get it, you know there are people who yeah, do that, sure. yeah? <laughs> that happens, but not all of them. 
uh -huh. not all of them. Mm -hmm. There are those people who will come for you. There are those friends which who are going to support you, like in time of need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even that cheering, telling mm -hmm. you, you can do it. Mm -hmm. You know, go. Mm -hmm. You know, you just need people yeah. who can encourage you. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's quite, uh, that's, that's good because yeah. a lot of businesses, a lot of guys I've had here, they tell you, hey, my basic contact is on Kanga. And especially for you being a, um, a boss lady, that yes. must have been something. But before we get to that, Joshua from Kirinyaga is on the line. Joshua, good morning. Morning, Bubi. Mimi ni kosalama sana, labda wewe? Fresh kabisa, the mountain is very wet. Aha, what is your question or comment? Very briefly, uh, to me, according to uh, my ideal uh, concept of or understanding of how to best uh, rejuvenate one's brand, Yes. is one to always make sure that uh, you take criticism very positively. Mm-hmm. You listen to those who are uh, not contented with your product. Mm -hmm. You try to address those areas where people have reservations about what you're offering. Yes. Number two, you must always make sure that you surprise your, 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 your customers and your market. Mm -hmm. Always make sure that you have something new. Okay. And finally, always make sure that you intercept market expectations, mm. that you are always a step ahead such that you will always give them something that they, they, they will have expected to come, even when they least expect it to come. Okay. Yes, that is what I have to do. Joshua, thank you very much. Always a pleasure to hear from you. <laughs> Let's check out what's up as well. Um, what are your thoughts? Show is on fire, starting small, taking risks, and more so believing in yourself. Watching right here from Marsabit. Anne, thank you very much, Anne. And what, are, what business do you do also? Let us know. Uh, nice one, guys. Do you do chocolate for diabetic people? All right. All right. What are you doing? Do you have chocolate for diabetics? Yes, yes we do. Zero uh -huh. sugar into the chocolate. That's yeah. mainly dark. What variety. don't you have? <laughs> as long as it's chocolate, yeah, it's I there. can make it, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so zero sugar. Zero sugar, which is very fresh and healthy. You find there are people who want to live healthy with, like now yourself, with mm. your diet. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolates are good for you. Okay. Very, very good, yes. Uh -huh. So you can get them from at least 70% to at least 54%, which is a bit uh, sweet, a bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Mm. Boss lady, I was talking about you because yes. um, 10 years ago, I don't know, uh, mm -hmm. single or married. Yes. How has been the journey as an entrepreneur and especially as a woman? Because you will find a lot of people will have places to poke yes. when you're in Biashara as a woman. Uh, it's tough, but also you have to get tougher. Mm. And uh, as a woman, like uh, what I can say is uh, even the government. You know, the government is supporting women. Yeah. The banks have come out like uh, CFC, Stanbic, supporting women. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's so much for us women. Yeah. So uh, when you look at, um, you know, the fear against the support uh, in the country, mm -hmm. I can say that, um, you know, women, we are in a better place yeah. currently. But then yes. how do you get to handle and balance that, especially when it comes to family? Because you find a lot of women even shut down their businesses because they're like, I am there, Mezusha Sana. You know, I'm, I'm not uh, at home. Because, you know, business is about resilience. Our, yes. uh, so I'd like to believe. You, you have to be there, you're on top of things, you're yeah. calling clients, you're being places and, you know, how do you even balance between your biashara to make sure that it doesn't fall and yeah. still be there for your family? Um, it's quite difficult, huh? And uh, one thing is uh, just keeping the, uh, the balance between the family, the children, the business. And um, like uh, with time, I've, I've been trying, you know, to get myself Mm. of the business mm -hmm. like uh, putting the right systems putting the right people, people. in charge yeah people in charge so you've yeah. actually yeah. devolved your duties uh, what is it called yes. uh, delegating Good. yes you need to have that person who can appear uh, when you're not there and uh, meaning that uh, when you on maternity leave mm. your business is not maternity mm -hmm. because if it happens like that you're gonna close down so with time uh, you know it, it's gradual I've been trying to remove myself from the face of the business mm. and uh, that's how I've managed yeah yes okay yeah same question for you how do you manage to um, I know it's easy for a man because what a and the wife is like, okay, um, assuming you're married, that is. Yeah. <laughs> but how, how, do you, how do you keep the balance? Uh, how, how do you do that? I think it's interesting. I like what she's saying. Mm. Uh, at some point, you need to delink yourself from the, from the 
we call it the persona of the business because mm -hmm. there are two people. There's you who is the owner and then there's a the persona that the business takes. So for me, I am single. So I find I am able to do so many things without mm -hmm. minding about myself. Mm -hmm. But I find it's easy to acquire habits early that end up become, becoming bad habits. Mm -hmm. So I try by five, I'm home, mm -hmm. or doing things that help my social life and character. Yeah. Ah. and dedicate the times I have for business for business. Because mm. that's why I'm saying if you de-link yourself, because mm. you need to grow your personal character, mm -hmm. which ends up becoming the character of the business. Mm. So if you're out there and you're learning how to be patient, yes. your business then is able to acquire mm. the, the good traits that you grow. Yeah. So for me, yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and especially when you're with your friends. Are you the kind of people who will talk about Biashara, to keep, by the time to like Katie, by the time to end the home, but don't your Biashara, I'll back up and be like, ah, chief. <laughs> Give me a break because you're always talking about hey, Jana chocolate in the user by day. Yeah. Ili poor sana. But this mm. is a Juicy yeah. kuna client amezusha juu ya chocolate yao. Wase kuna chocolate ingine nataka kudeliver sai. Yeah. Are you, are you yeah. that kind of person? When I'm, we sit down like I'm we're hoping, just saying chocolate, 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 yeah, chocolate, chocolate. I'm, I'm hoping they don't call and say <laughs> that. So I hope, I hope not. Yeah. Okay, I think I have two kinds of friends. There are those ones I share more business wise because I find them to be very wise. Mm -hmm. um, so both. I, not really. Yeah. Actually, I'll see, I'll see te don't text, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, but someone already said they like your chocolate. Yeah. What about you, Bansi? Do you find yourself in that situation where by, you're talking about e new money, you paint jana, yes. kuno client around sumbua, but this is your combia, unajua, eh, gavai mongeza tax, za sijui za polls. Are you, are you that type? Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. But, um, you know, with time also you keep, uh, you know, those friends or mm -hmm. that clique that mm -hmm. probably they are pursuing something else and uh, they are passionate about it. So I'm talking about my painting, they're talking mm -hmm. about their debt collection, mm -hmm. they're talking about, uh, you know, something else that is really, mm -hmm. you know, and... Oh, you so know, that, that, that is who yes. your circle of friends are? People yes, like yes, 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 two na jengana. Auna mahasula or tutu wa mechi? Ah, no? Watakuwa tu hapa. Atu wa kimbi, but I try to keep uh, those okay. people, you know, we, mm. we kind of relevant, mm. you know. Yes. I want us to take a few look. Uh, I mean, a, a few uh, uh, a look rather. Hey, a, a look at some of your WhatsApp messages. Let's go, Bona Director. Yes, Peter Sakit. Motivation is the catalyzing ingredient for every successful innovation. I am so impressed and motivated to begin my business today. Yeah. Hey, Peter Sakit. Yeah. Hi, Derek. Please make an Ingoho flavored chocolate, <laughs> and please this time bring here at Amboni in Mwega. Oh. Director, uko niwapi ebu angalia kwa Google Maps? Where is Mwega? Does anyone know where Mwega is? Ah, the show ikopoa. Uh, ikopoa tu sana. Thank you. I am taking notes for my future business. Thank you, CEO. Free drop interiors for furnishing my house. Wow. I love your hard, uh, I love your hard aim higher. Okay. Bansi is saying that she loves um, how you're doing your biasharas, guys. Um, kuna mtu wanyeri? Oh, mwege, oh, mwege konyeri. Uli jenga manyumba nyeri. Okay. I mean, sorry, utatengeneza chocolate ya kuku upeleke mwiga. Nilizani yo kwa utapeleka shama hoho. Uku kwa watu wa mukhara mwuzine kasi la kashine kalo no 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 no. Yeah. But we send them everywhere. Yeah. 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 Okay. Does it, Bansi, does it ever get um, tiring to be or in charge? Yes. Because I, I, sometimes I just get tired being an employee. Sometimes I get tired, you know, just thinking about how I have to wake up at 5 a.m. and be here by 6 a.m. And I'm just like, ah, yeah, yeah. Nada sikazi yangu. Sasa wewe yako. Does it sometimes just get like, ah? Yes, mm -hmm. ngumu, but you see, what is the option? Mm -hmm. The option is to give up. So you, every day, you know, you wake up and, you know, I don't want to choose the option of giving up. So I, you know, have to continue and have to put more effort and the back stops at you. Everything mm -hmm. else that is not working, mm -hmm wherever whoever it's escalating to mm -hmm. it comes back to me yeah. so i'm motivated to make sure that things are running mm. uh, like properly every morning i check on everything every other project we are doing and mm -hmm. i make sure i'm on top of it mm -hmm. yes chocolate every day unafika unaingevi kwa factory manzo unasikia kuku inanuka huko um sijui chardonnay inanuka huko sijui ram inanuka pande nyingine does it ever get tiring no, yeah, that's heaven. What are you talking about? It's chocolates. Everyone <laughs> loves chocolates. <you> <laughs> <know>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, but at those days yeah. when, um, you know, when you're the sole vision bearer, the, it's a heavy burden to carry. So there are days when you feel a bit low, uh, but you remember you're bringing value and adding value. Mm -hmm. And 
use that paranoia to create. And I think it's important for people when you're in business not to scare the people in business. Because mm -hmm. you find that we will scare you that it's very hard. Mm -hmm. It's not the hard that it's not maneuverable. That hardness creates mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. uh, creativity. Okay. So for me on those days that I'm really down is when I find that I need to go back and see, all right, what is this that is making me feel low? Mm. And through that period, I find that I'm more creative mm. and especially I need to get back the energy since yeah. I do everything myself. Mm. So I find that when I take some time to rest, which is really important, mm -hmm. is when I find areas that are disturbing me, I get clarity on, I get to read, I get to consult. And when you come out of that period, yes. there's a huge benefit that you took time to rest and you created. It's, it's important. Yeah. Your biggest fear when mm. you started, um, you know, your it's chocolate. Yes. Uh, biggest like you were like he yani yeah kakinuka yeah. I'm, I'm out well my biggest fear was will it be bought people you said people we grew up knowing chocolates are imported now these are being made in kenya uh, so it took me time to get over the fear that you know what in the next 10 years the mm -hmm. kid who grows up will know it's chocolate is made in kenya which is what i want yet it's a fear so you're like how will i get there will people embrace the brand those that have grown up loving chocolates from you know different beautiful brands will they come and help me build the same you know world like um, chocolates so that fear has been there it's still there but the more i do every day and get feedback like what you've just read right now it mm -hmm. gives me that motivation to mm -hmm. you know what i think i'm creating a product from a pure perspective of love because people also buy because of the love of chocolate yes. or the love of someone you're gifting okay so yeah, that's, that fear is still there sometimes. Some days it's strong. Yeah. yeah. The days you just wake up, you're yeah, like, oh, you're no. Like, oh, no. Especially <laughs> when you had kept away from seeing what other people are doing and you're like, whoa, mm. this is what people are doing. Yes. It takes you back. You're like, you know what? Because now, to. you see, like, not for me, my brand outlook isn't as strong. Mm -hmm. So you find the guys that are doing it, you find that they're doing this already for December. Mm. You feel fear. You're, like, bad, wow. you're still hung yeah. up on October. Yeah. So when you have your strategy in play. Yes and you see I should be doing this now, mm. that paranoia really destroys you. Yes. But if you use it to, to create, then plus you see I'm not doing it for the short term, I'm doing it for the long term. So I'm, I'm sure that if I learn from these guys, now then the longer my competitors, the guys I look up to and say, hey, I like this, do, do you, how, how can you work together? That uh, shift of mind has helped mm. me a lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about you, Bansi? Are there days you just wake up and you're like, um, this is my biggest fear. So what, what is your biggest fear? Um, cash crisis, mm. where probably, um, you know, the business requires more money mm. than, uh, you know, what you can really put in. Mm. And you see, once the business grows, you know, it keeps on requiring more money. Mm. So this month it requires this size, mm. the next month this size. You mm. know, that, that's normally a big uh, challenge. That and how, how do you think you will handle when that day actually does arrive? when your business requires X amount of money yeah. and you're like... <laughs> um, I'm handling it. The, it's already come eh. knocking. Mm. <laughs> so we're already there. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, there are many, there are many uh, avenues. Yes. There are, you know, a lot of support. The banks are giving a lot of support. Like, um, currently I'm working with the Dada CFC Stanbic. Mm -hmm. They are supporting me. Mm -hmm. I'm working with Equity Bank, LSO Financing, mm -hmm. and for discounting. Mm -hmm. So they are really supporting me. Mm -hmm. So still, uh, uh, you know, their support can be measured. Yes. So we are still working and I'm maintaining the relationship mm -hmm. to make sure once I get here, uh, the banks are still going to support yeah. me. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Biggest satisfaction you've ever gotten from your Biashara? Like that one day when it comes to free drop interiors, you will never forget. Yes. Like any that day, any mungu likuanga na mimi, you are uluk tulikuanga ni sako kwa bako. Um, biggest satisfaction is when uh, I sit down, I write a proposal, and I get a job. Mm -hmm. That's one satisfaction. And the other one is uh, when I do my job to the satisfaction, mm -hmm. I get my completion certificates, and the client is like, wow, you know, mm. job well done. Mm -hmm. It's actually... You feel that was, oh, it wasn't yeah. in vain? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes. And then unangalia bank account, unona tu, ah, received. Bank Excellent. account, eh. mi badai. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Personally, my biggest satisfaction obviously would be when I have done a good job yes. and the client has loved it. Yes. But the next biggest satisfaction is when they actually pay. Because 
I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Have you experienced that? Oh yes, of course. Clients who defaulted on payment. <laughs> yes. And have it's, they paid? Do you follow legal pro processes? Some pay, some don't pay. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, just a normal process of any business coming up. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you just unacha tum to do? Um, kuna zile tu itabidi umeacha. Kuna zile unafuata. You know, you know, in life there's uh -huh. yeah. lose and get. Uh -huh. yes. Listen to this small company saying, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you choose your battle. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, well, your biggest satisfaction? Um, I would say there are two. I think I'm very happy when I see people coming out to help me build the brand. Not because they need the money or they want to work for me, but because they see there's something great and they want to help me build. That, that makes me feel like it's not mine. I'm like, wow, this is something that is being built by people. Mm. That is so exciting. Mm. And the second is when I read people's feedback and I'm like, if you love this product, then I'm, I'm touched that my heart was, you know, was shared and it was received well. That makes me excited mm. and then the third one is money that i'm able now to mm. earn something <laughs> self-sustain at least you're being honest oh. yes <laughs> you're being honest the money yes. part yes the money part the is money exciting uh-huh and then the other three yeah <laughs> yeah you sit down and then you're looking yeah, at that yeah. even if it's an impressive message or a check yeah it's yeah. true yeah. i think it's important to be also content in the journey mm -hmm. because you find like for me business this year has taught me a few things um, credit business, is it the way to go or not? Or do you do business where it's honest and you know you, you take what you can handle because mm. you find you take a big chunk, you're left in trouble. Yeah. And I like what she's saying, you choose your battles. There are those mm. ones you feel like if they pursue this one, you end up incurring more costs. Yeah. So when you, when you learn, like now I'm learning from her today, is you choose your battles smartly. Mm. And it helps you keep from those times when you have to incur costs to get more money. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah um, how do you deal with um, people defaulting on payment? I don't know if you have those mm -hmm. uh, you know, times when yeah. you know, someone tells you, yeah, you just deliver you know, 10 yeah. bars or I don't know how, yeah. how you measure, but whatever they, you've yeah. delivered, yeah. then they don't pay. Have you had um, those moments? No, I've never had a defaulting client. Why? Well, fortunately, because you see, my interaction with clients is mm. to build the trust. Because mm. I know people have bought... You pay, then you're not delivered to, which is yeah. a fear I still find with people. Mm -hmm. So I try to create that trust. Okay, I, I have this thing of nothing leaves the auction that is not paid for. Mm -hmm. I try to maintain it. Yes. But when I build the trust, we, we can meet halfway. Yeah. You can pick up or you can also, you know, half and half. So. Okay. Yeah. But I'm hoping zero credit as the business grows. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, last sentiments as we close the show. Yes. What would you tell someone out there mm -hmm. who... Like, you know, the person who just called or texted, I think, and he said, um, I just want to know how I can, I can start my Biashara. Mm -hmm. For you, people are not thinking, people start, you know, bars, people start wines and spirits, yeah. people start poultry businesses. You not have to do it. But for you, you did something extraordinary. Yeah. How would you tell guys to go about it, especially for newbies who've never started anything before? Okay. Maybe I would say three things. Um, for me, I learned really early the business pass test would be three things. One, if it's good enough to mm -hmm. dedicate your life to it. Yeah. That is the first. The second one would be, does it cause the aha to people? Like when they hear it, they'll be like, wow. Mm. So in that aha, what are you creating mm -hmm. in value? Mm -hmm. And what value are you adding? Because you don't just do business for business. Mm -hmm. You want to be different in what you're doing. Uh, the third one is, is it scalable? Can yeah. you start small and grow with it? So those three things um, are really key. Then start small, build, you measure, you learn. Starting small doesn't mean that you remain small. Mm. No, it's a big business. Mm -hmm. Start small, mm -hmm. you measure, you learn, and it's possible. All right. Yes. Thank you very much, Derek Itonga. So much. As for you, Bansi, yep. what would you tell guys who are out there, th and especially the ladies? Yes. I, th I think the ladies are here watching because of you. Yes. Mm. Um, ladies, it's doable. I've done it. And um, uh, make use of the 30% the, that government has provided for the youth, the women, and the people with disability. And uh, make it narrow and deep. Like, uh, know what you're doing, understand it pretty well. And uh, the last thing is there's no substitute to hard work. Yeah. You have to work hard. Mm -hmm. Nothing will come 
in a silver field. Yes. Yeah, you heard it. There's no shortcut to hard work. Nothing substitutes um, hard work. Bansi Kiseli there uh, from Free Drop Interiors. Thank you very much for joining us as well. And we have uh, Derek Gitonga from uh, It's Chocolate. If you love chocolate, please find them on social media. Where can they get you on social media? They can come to Instagram. You uh -huh. can find me on chocolate underscore it's. Yes, that is uh, where we do most of our business. Uh -huh. Please Instagram. Yeah. All right. Uh, where can they get you? Free Drop Interior Designers Limited. You go to. All right, so if yeah. you want that perfectly tailored interior design, please holler at Bansi. We say Kwaheri for now, but uh, do not go too far because Shiku Kaitan is coming up next with the daily brief. And of course, tomorrow we'll be right here bright and early for the morning discussion on K24 this morning. Kwaheri.